connection between the murders. Yes, they're all dead. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. He's not going to sell much ice cream going at that speed, is he? <laughs> Rawhead Rex was based on a short story by Clive Barker, who had a very definite opinion about the finished product. It's no bloody good! But is he right? It's certainly a film that has its advocates. What? What's the problem? In my opinion, Rawhead Rex is an example of how fine the margins can be in horror between scary and funny. <laughs> What is it? Something I I don't. What is it for God's sake? I don't. Andy! Ah! More than in any other genre, a little thing can make a big difference. So, let's meet Rawhead Rex himself. He was here before Christ, before civilization. He was king here. A pagan demon and incarnation of evil. Where are the Power Rangers when you need them? I couldn't stop him, but you can kill him. Leaving aside the fact that the name Rawhead is supposed to be a reference to a face like raw meat, this looks like a refugee from Warcraft. <laughs> and because the actor is looking through the mouth, the demon's eye line is permanently tilted upwards. <laughs> It's low budget, and I don't want to beat them up any more than I have to, but if you can't take the demon seriously, this is a problem. Rawhead. That's what they called him. Rawhead! Then there's the family at the center of things. That's who those kids belong to. I was wondering. It's as if the filmmakers noticed the non-existent chemistry between the leads and tried to force it with some of the weirdest sexy dialogue I have ever heard. Yeah, what do you expect from a historian? I prefer dead things. Oh, I'll bear that in mind. I don't know what she has in mind, and I don't want to find out. You have very dirty eyes. Anybody ever tell you that? Even with this issue, we should feel something for them as the film reaches its most traumatic moment. <laughs> The couple's son is attacked. No, no, you... I think it's the gate that really ruins it, but whatever the case, this should be gut-wrenching, and it just isn't. I stood there and watched him do it. You did, didn't you? And it also raises the question of why the boy and not the rest of the family? A question that dogs Rawhead Rex. What the hell's going on? Some people are killed outright. <laughs> Apparently as food. <laughs> Others it possesses. <laughs> this woman. <laughs> no idea, but it gives her terrible mood swings. Jen, what happened here? A lot was cut from Barker's story, but it also feels as if something must have been cut from the screenplay. I think it belongs here. I think this is its home. Just a hunch, based on some stained glass windows. <laughs> there are interesting themes still visible through the overacting. When it's finished with you, what will it do with you? Kill me. I hope... The only weapon that will work against the demon discovered in the Ark of the Covenant that everyone forgot was in the church, is a pagan fertility symbol. But this side of things goes so unexplored that an explanatory line has to be dropped in during the big climax, just so we know what's going on. A woman. It had to be a woman. Only a woman can wield this weapon leaving our hero with a desperate need to assert his masculinity. Ah! 
and hit it with a shovel. I'm bored. The problem with Rawhead Rex is that it advertises itself as more than a monster movie, and moments within the film back that up. Maybe. But it's not. It's a cliché monster on the rampage film, right down to the quick let's get some tits in. <laughs> Ancient demons with something serious to say about that incestuous relationship between early British Christianity and its pagan roots. God! <laughs> he is God! Cannot trash kitchens <laughs> and rock caravans. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a rampaging monster movie, but then we're back to that first problem. And having spent 80 minutes trying to stay on the right side of that fine line between comedy and horror, <laughs> Rawhead Rex collapses over it. Why don't you all get the hell out of here? Come along. Thanks for watching. For bonus videos and the chance to help us do more interesting things, support us on Patreon. What are horror's best and worst literary adaptations? Let us know in the comments below. Well, I better be getting back. Me dinner's on the table.